In this video, I'm going to show you three really useful agents you can build on top of your monday.com CRM. The first is going to automatically log new contacts who I've emailed to add them to the CRM. The second is going to enrich those contacts by looking up their LinkedIn profile and finding some information there. And the third is going to automatically qualify and route the associated company to the right salesperson on our team. With that, let's dive in and build the first agent. So the way this agent is going to work is every time we send an email, the AI is going to try to figure out, is this someone who makes sense to put into our CRM or not? If so, we're going to check to see if they're already there. If they're not already there, we're going to add them. And then whether we've just added them or whether they were there before, we're going to log this email sent activity so that we know that we've been in contact with this contact. Let me show you how to build it. So first, we're going to start with an email sent trigger from Gmail because we want this to kick off only for emails that we've sent to other people. Then the first thing we want to do is we want to ask AI to figure out if this is someone that makes sense to log into our CRM, because not everyone I send an email to should appear in our CRM. So I'm going to make an AI step. I'm going to classify. And what I'm going to classify is the email. And I'm going to say, given an email I've just sent, please determine whether it makes sense to this the recipient as a contact in my CRM, i.e. they're likely to be a prospect for relay dot. Please output decision. Yes. No. Rationale. Full name of contact email of contact. So I'm not only asking the AI to make this decision, I'm asking the AI to tell me why it made the decision. So I can debug later if something went wrong and I need to update my prompt. Then I'm also asking the AI to, for convenience, pull out the name and the email address of the person, because that's exactly what I'm going to need to look up and then add the contact in money.com. And you can see that as I typed that prompt on the right, the AI automatically inferred the right output I want, which is a decision, rationale, a name, and an email. Let's move on. If this is not someone who I should add to the CRM, we should stop. We should not do any more work. So I'm going to end the run if the AI's decision was no. We don't want to do any more work if it's not something that the AI, not someone that the AI thinks we should add to our CRM. If the AI does think we should add the person to our CRM, the first thing we need to do is look up if they're already there already. And so we're going to use a find step for that. So we're going to say find item. We're going to look in the monday.com CRM and specifically in the context table. We're looking for a single item, an exact contact that matches this email address. And the filter we're going to use is the email. It's exactly the email of the contact that the AI inferred. If no items are found, we're going to continue. Now we need to do a path because depending on whether that contact was found or not, we may need to add a new contact or not. So I'm going to say not path A is not found add text. And we're going to go down this path if the item from the find step of step four was not found. If they were not found, to add them. So I'm going to add a create item step in monday.com. Once again, I'm going to choose the CRM board and the contacts board. The name I'm going to put in is the full name of the contact that they have pulled out for me. And the email of the contact is going to be the email. I pulled that from AI. So now just to recap what we've done so far, after the email was sent, we used AI to classify whether it's someone we should put in our CRM or not. If not, we stop. If yes, we look up to see whether we already have that contact in our CRM. And if we don't, we add them. The last thing we need to do is we need to log an activity in the activities table associated with that contact. Whether or not that contact existed before, we always want to log the activity. So I'm going to add another create item step. But in this case, I'm not going to look at the con I'm not going to add it to the context table. I'm going to add it to the activities table. The name I'm going to put in is the subject of the email. The activity type is going to be an email and the contact I'm going to associate it with is going to be the merged contacts from step five. This is a fancy feature of real app that basically says it's either going to use 
the output of the find step if it existed, or it's going to use the newly created contact from step six for your convenience. And with that, we've finished our first AI workflow. Get a fire whenever an email is sent. It's going to use AI to determine whether it's someone we care about logging to our CRM. It's going to look up to see if that person exists already. Not, it's going to add them. And then whether or not they were existing or added, we're going to automatically add an email activity. That is AI agent number one. Now let's move on to AI agent number two, which is going to be enriching that contact. Okay, I've created a new workflow and now I'm ready to start enriching contact. Here's how we're going to do it. In this case, we're going to trigger whenever a new item is created in the monday.com contacts board. We're going to go look up that profile on LinkedIn. We're going to use AI to infer the things we need to know about that contact. And then we're going to add that back. We're going to update the contact record with the, that new information. And if I go over to my contacts table, you can see that what I, what I want to get is the priority and the title of the contact. So that's what I'm going to look for using this AI agent. So first I'm going to trigger when a new item is added to money.com and the board I'm going to look at is the contacts board. So when a new item is added, the first thing I want to do is I want to go look up their profile on LinkedIn to find their information. And to do that, I'm going to type LinkedIn, search LinkedIn for profile. And I want to look them up based on their email address. I'm going to pull in the item email address, and now it can do the best job it can to find the LinkedIn profile associated with that email address. If it's a business email address, this works very, very well because typically the first name or last name followed by the company name can get you right to the correct LinkedIn profile. And then based on that LinkedIn profile, I want to extract the title of the person and I want to give them a priority score. And for that, I'm going to use AI. So I'm going to make an AI step, an AI extract step. I want to extract from the LinkedIn profile. And I'll say, given a LinkedIn profile, please extract following. One, the current title of person. Two, a priority, high, medium, or low, based on how likely they are to be decision maker at a company with 20 to 200. And now that I've done typing, you can see that the AI is going to automatically analyze what output I want to get. And indeed, the output I want to get is title and the priority, because those are the two things I need to update the item in Monday. Hit done. And the last thing I need to do is now write this data back into the contact in Monday. So I'm going to do an update item step. The item I'm going to select is this new contact from step one, the trigger that initiated this workflow. And the fields I'm going to add are the title and the title is going to come from my AI extract step three and the priority, which is also going to come from my AI extract step three. And that's all there is to it. We just finished our second AI workflow, which is going to automatically trigger when a new contact is added to the Monday CRM, going to look up the LinkedIn profile. It's going to use AI to extract the title and then do a kind of a simple priority scoring based on that person's information. And then it's going to update the monday.com item with that information. That's workflow two. Now let's move on to workflow three. Okay. Workflow number three is going to operate on companies, not on contact. When a new company is added, we want to look up their company LinkedIn profile. We want to get some information about them, like a brief description and the number of employees they have. We then want to qualify them with a priority score, much like we did in the last workflow. And then we need to route them to the right salesperson on our team. I'm going to show you how to do that right. It's going to follow a very similar pattern to the previous workflow. We're going to start with a new item added trigger. Within our CRM, this time we're going to select the accounts board. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look up the LinkedIn uh, company profile by the domain of the company. You can see that this is going to give me back the company profile, which is going to have the website URL, the employee range, employee count. I think it had yeah, headquarters, location, etc. 
Now I'm going to use AI to extract the information I need from this company profile and to make the qualification and also routing decision. So I'm going to do AI extract. I'm going to extract from the profile and I'm going to say, given the company profile of a prospect, please extract the following description of what kind of company it is, what they do, location, number of employees, salesperson on our team, that should be the point of contact. If in Europe, Tice had relay dynamic anywhere else. Kick up relay. So here's a super simple prompt. I'm doing sort of qual. Oh, I forgot to do the, the priority. Priority, high, medium, or low. Are they a company with between 20 and 200 employees that is likely to use modern SaaS rules? So here I'm using AI to do a bit of qualification and routing. One, you can see I'm extracting some basic information like the description of the company, the location, the number of employees. I'm using that to ask the AI to make a simple prioritization decision, high, medium, low, which is exactly what I need to put into money.com. And I'm doing a little bit of routing based on location because we have two territories. In Europe, it goes to Tice, and anywhere else, it goes to me. And you can see on the right that these are exactly the structured fields I'm going to get back when this AI step is done. And now last but not least, just like in the previous example, we're going to update the item with that information. So I'm going to do monday.com, update item. The item I'm going to update is the item from the trigger, which is the new account. And I actually want to show you this cool auto suggest feature that's going to try to infer based on what we've created so far in the workflow, what we should update the item with. So I'm going to do auto suggest and let's see what the AI comes up with. What we want it to do is put the priority in the priority field and description of the description field. Okay. So here it's got the company name, it's got the domain, put the priority in the priority field, put the description in the description field, put the number of employees in the number of employees field, put the location in the location field, and it put the sales person email in the point of contact field. So in this case, the AI did a perfect job of updating exactly the field that we wanted to update based on the AI extraction. And so now we're done. Every time we stick a new company into the accounts table, excuse me, the accounts board in monday.com, we're gonna automatically look up that LinkedIn profile. We're gonna get their location, their description of what they do, the number of employees, and we're gonna use that to give them a priority score and also route them to the right sales person on our team. So that's it. That took about 15 minutes. And we built three really, really useful AI workflows on top of Monday.com. We're going to automatically log contacts based on who we're sending emails to. We're going to automatically enrich those contacts based on their LinkedIn profiles and do some scoring of them. And then we're going to do the same with companies. So we're automatically going to enrich accounts, qualify them, and wrap them. If you use Monday.com, I hope you find this really, really valuable.